in general the weather on the Azores is good all year round the only thing is that in the winter it rains more and it's more windy and more humid so it can actually feel cold here there is somebody pedal boarding there are some of these very nice winter days when you can just go outside and do all the outdoor activities but then there are those days when it rains a lot anyway the other day i came across this fun fact that uh, the azores is one of the most popular biking destinations of portugal there are many bike routes on the island and most of them are marked as difficult because of the elevation but you know here they say that there is flat and then there is azorean flat all these bike routes are pretty nice and decent they cross nice sites the roads go through different villages so you can actually have a little bit of an insight to the azorean culture and lifestyle we are on the southern shore of the island and we are going to cross to the town of ribeira grande the road which we are going to take is gonna be, well, probably this one. We are gonna cross the natural park. From there, we are just gonna go up to the north. Then we will just take the road to Ribeira Grande. We are also gonna stop on the beach. After that, we just come back to Ponte Delgada. Well, and here is something I didn't know before I came to the island and that is that Sao Miguel actually plays the highest Portuguese soccer league. The stadium is not in the capital city, but it's nearby. That mountain you see back there is uh, Sete Cidades. If someone is there today, Nice timing! The thing is that sometimes it's under clouds a lot so you have to go back there like three times to actually see the view and the lakes. Yeah, especially during winter it's under clouds a lot. Well, here is a fun activity of what to do in Ponte Delgada when it's raining. I was on the way to the store but it started to rain so much that I ended up on the pineapple plantation because it's on the way. The pineapple came to the Azores in the 19th century. It was brought by the Azorean immigrants from Brazil. First it was an ornamental plant but after that they started to take it more seriously. They just started to use all the techniques in order to produce the Azorean pineapple. Pineapple can be cut any time of the year, but the best to harvest it is in summer because the sunlight is stronger, so the pineapples grow in a bigger quantity and also in a bigger size. Apparently it is an organic product. It is grown without any chemicals, so in a natural way. It takes about two to two and a half years for the pineapple to grow from the root up until the major fruit. 
and this is how it starts this is the root now here is the unique thing because after around six months of growth the pineapples will undergo a special fertilization process they are fertilized by smoke this is the tool they use for it There are also many nice parks to visit on the island. There are a couple of botanical gardens in Ponta Delgada. One of them carries the name of a cultured wealthy man who was a nature lover. He established contacts with botanical gardens and nurseries from all around the world. And then he just bought, sold and exchanged plants. It is possible to visit the government's office, which is basically a botanical garden, more or less. There is a palace, which is from the 19th century. There is another very cute park by the lake of the city of Furnas. This park is actually quite new, they just opened it in 2020. The history of this property goes back to 1832 when the land next to the Furnish Lagoon was acquired by an English traveler to build a summer house there. Over the years the property passed through different hands and then it was acquired by the Portuguese government in 1987. The goal was to recover the historic building and to host high-ranking figures of the state while they visit São Miguel, but this never happened and Grena was abandoned until it was donated to the regional government of the Azores in 2015. Three years later, it was sold to a group of foreign investors and after a year of cleaning and all kinds of works, it opened to the public. And Terra Nostra is one of the most popular sites on the island of São Miguel. Everybody goes there, but it's beautiful. There is the upper zone, which is more like a forest and it leads through different kinds of trees. And then there is the lower zone where you are able to walk around different pools and fountains. There is also a thermal pool in the park with the brownish iron rich water. So yeah, that is it, I guess. The place I am at right now is a new viewpoint. It's actually between the town and the beach, which is uh, the closest to the town. It's pretty cool, I like it, and I'm gonna show you. I have a new friend. If you're coming from Ponta Delgada, this is the walk by the ocean, and then you cross the village right here. This is the way to the beach. And yeah, it's somewhere in the middle. I like this place a lot. Now, basically, this is where I hang out like 90% uh, of the time.